Hello there. If you ever interacted with ChatGPT, you already aware its incredible potential and impressively smart responses it provide to every follow-up questions. But here's the catch. It bases its answers on the general knowledge available on the internet. Now imagine harnessing the same advanced artificial intelligence to create a conversational chatbot, but not just any chatbot, one that lives right within WhatsApp and it's tailored specifically to your business's product or services. In this video, I will explain how to create such an AI chatbot using Librami Connect. To create a WhatsApp chatbot, you have to sign up for an account from Librami.com and subscribe to a package. After that, you have to connect your phone number with the WhatsApp Cloud API embedded from available here. And then you can click on this chatbot icon and then it will take you to this particular page. And there you can click on create a bot button. It will take you to a canvas to create the chatbot. To enable the AI functionalities within the WhatsApp chatbot, Librami Connect is using OpenAI integration. To configure this module, you need to have an OpenAI account ready. If you don't have one, you can go to openai.com and sign up for an account. After that, you have to go to the settings and set up the billing. And then you can go to the OpenAI keys and create a key. You can simply click on create a new secret key and give a name, for example, AI chatbot, and then simply click create a secret key. It will generate a key, which you can use within the chatbot. Now, I have just created the key, but I'm not using it for now. And then you also need an account with pinecon.io. You can simply go to pinecon.io and create a free account. Now I'm going back to the chatbot builder. And now let's start building the chatbot. So just after you send a message to a particular WhatsApp number, it will start with the start module. So when the chatbot trigger, we can send a message to the user with the greetings. So to do that, I'm using the message module, simply drag and drop to the canvas and then connect the start module with the group one and simply pasting the prepared message. I'm an intelligent AI assistant. I'm here to assist with any questions related to Librami Connect. Feel free to ask me anything. And now we can collect a response from the user. That will be the user question. To do that, we can use the text module. Simply click and drag to the canvas and connect with the group one. Now it will be the question. I'm saving the input as a variable named question. And then the next will be the open AI module because after collecting the question from the user, we are sending that information to the OpenAI. That's where the magic happens. To configure the OpenAI module, click on the configure button and then simply expand and let's see which all options we have. Now let's connect an account. To do that, click select an account and then connect new. Since we haven't connected an account earlier, we have to connect an account. So it will be Librami new, for example, and then enter the API key, which we have generated earlier. I'm copying the same man simply pasting it here. I'm not entering an organization ID right now. Since I only have one organization, if you have multiple organization, you can enter the organization ID also. Now connect. Now it will fetch the models available within the account. So right now you can see all the models available. So I'll be selecting GPT 3.5 Turbo. I have actually Turbo available right now. I'm not using it. It will be 3.5 available to everyone. Now you can see the task is set as create chat completion which is the default behavior of this module, which will be used for fetching general knowledge. But here we need an AI agent, which will answer from the business data. To do that, just click here and select chat from custom data source. But here to select, we haven't created any data source. To do that, for now I'm closing this window and saving this one as AI chatbot. And then go back to the panel and then go to the AI services. Here we need to configure something. The first one is OpenAI configuration. Just simply click there and give the same OpenAI key. That's done, that is connected. The next one is Pinecone. We have created an account for that already. So go to the Pinecone and then click on the API key and uh, simply copy the value and then click on connect and save. So the required account has been connected. And then you have to upload a data source for the AI to fetch the data from. To do that, I have already prepared a FAQ list with all the possible questions and answers. The quality of the response will be purely based on this data we have prepared. Right now I have created around 11 pages with the maximum possible combination of questions and answers. This data need not to be in a FAQ format, but even though I have created this format for a better result, you can download the file as a document file, Microsoft Word, for example, and then go back to the panel and then click on add a data source. The first one will be the name. I can give any name. For example, this will be Librami FAQ. And then the index name, you have to go to the Pinecone again and go to the indexes tab, then create an index and give an index name. For example, Librami 
a fake and then using the dimension this will be always 1536 and the metric will be cosine and we don't need to choose any other option this will be all the default features right now i'm using the free package so it will be a free starter and then click create index then it will create an index immediately and then we can use these values for example the environment is gcp starter here so copy the value and simply paste the environment name and then next is index name which is Librami faq should be the exact same and keep the value default for chunk size and the chunk overlap here the chunk size means the character length of a question and answer and, and the chunk overlap means how many characters we need to overlap for each samples for example we'll be using five samples so for each samples we need to overlap like 200 characters like that and then click next and now click on the document and then click next and upload the file i'm selecting the file after selecting you simply click upload and then start ingesting after that you can go back to the dashboard and click on the chatboard and continue building the chatboard now click on the open ai module and then expand and now you can select the chat from the custom data source and select the data sources librami faq so that is done now the next step the next step is to add some message samples to do that click on the messages and click on add messages so here the first message will be always the system message this will be the system prompt you have to define the system prompt is very important because it's defined the behavior of the chatbot we can give special instructions to the ai to behave accordingly you have to work on optimized system prompt in order to work it better for your organization i have created a sample for this organization and i will be using it for now as the first paragraph of this prompt i'm copying and pasting the data i prepared that will be your name is Eva, a helpful WhatsApp AI chat assistant of the company named Librami. Strictly follow the below instruction and then I'm adding the instruction such as instruction one will be provide a conversational answer based on the context show conversation. If you can find the answer in the context below, just say exactly, hmm, I'm not sure. Don't try to make up an answer or say anything rather than our company or services. And the next one is if the user question is not related to the context of the conversation, politely respond that you are turned only to answer questions that are related to the context. And the final one is, if, if more information is required to answer the question, politely ask for more information. And these are the basic prompts which I find helpful. And now, after the system prompt, you need to give a sample to the AI. For example, you need to give a question and you need to define how the AI will respond. To do that, click on add message button and then select user what is Librami connect for example this is a simple question and then give a sample answer which will be from the assistant the data is Librami connect offers a comprehensive platform for constructing advanced and efficient chatbots and automations fully integrated with whatsapp it provides a wide array of features designed to streamline the creation and management of chatbot and automation workflows now that's done the next will be again we will be expecting the actual question from the user we need to provide it to the ai to do that click on add message again and then click on the type as user and this will be the variable which we are previously collecting from the user as a question so select the variable here it will be question and then click on the settings so i'm not changing any value here and now we need to save the answer from the ai to a variable i'm clicking save an answer and click on add button so the message control will be the answer that's it and now we need to send the answer back to the user for that we can use the message module again and simply connect this group 3 with the group 4 and within that we can use the variable answer after that we can ask question again to the user we can actually add a delay in between so it will be for example a two second delay after reading the answer we can just simply ask the user with ask again and after this message we are expecting another question from the user again so we can connect the group 5 edge with the group 2 again so this will execute in a loop now let's test this chatbot to test this particular chatbot we can define a shortcut for this chatbot as for example faq ai and saving it to test this chatbot i have shared my words upon the screen and sending a hi to the configure number and let's see I'll be expecting a greeting message. Yeah, I have received the greeting message. Now I am about to ask a very unique question. For example, I'm running an insurance agency and how this chatbot can be helpful for my business. Let's see if we can expect a good answer from the AI. You have received an answer. As an insurance agency, Librami Connects chatbot can be highly beneficial for your business. Here are a few ways it can help. Instant customer support. The chatbot can provide immediate response to the customer inquiries 
helping them with policy information, claims, coverage details and more. This ensures that your customer receive prompt assistance even outside of your business hours. Yeah, that's perfect. And next is lead generation. Yes, the chatbot can capture customer information and generate leads by collecting details such as name, contact information and specific insurance needs. This allows you to follow up with the potential customers and convert them to clients. That's also perfect. Policy recommendation, claim assistance. So these are some examples. The AI identify the customer needs from this question and provide an answer based on the product we are selling. So how amazing, isn't it? And now I'm asking another question as a follow up question. So let's see. How can I implement this? Do I need expert support? For example, let's see how this will answer. Implementing Libromic Connect for Insurance Agency does not necessarily require an expert support. Although it can be helpful, here are the steps to implement this. Okay, let's sign up for an account and then set up your chat board. Integrate with the WhatsApp to connect the number. Yeah, that's right. And next is test and refine, launch and monitor. Yeah, that's all of the generic answer. I'm asking a specific question that uh, do I need to be a developer to do this? Let's see how it will answer. No, you don't need to be a developer to implement Libromic Connect for your insurance agency. Libromic Connect provides a user-friendly drag-and-drop chatbot builder that allows you to create and customize your chatbot without any coding knowledge. Yeah, that's perfect. The platform is designed to be accessible and easy to use for non-technical users. However, if you require advanced customization or integration with specific systems, you may consider seeking an expert support for consulting with Libromic team assistants. Okay, that's a perfect answer now. Now you see how efficient the AI is, which means you can clearly use this for production and the AI agent is doing a great job. Now let's further expand this chatbot with more features because the, right now the chatbot is executing within a loop. It is starting with the greeting message, then collecting the question, getting the answer from the AI, then sending back to the user and again asking the question. So it's running within a loop. Now we need to exit somewhere and go to a different flow. To do that, I'm going to use the choice module instead of the message module to give answer back to the user. To do that, simply drag and drop the module to the canvas and then I am disconnecting this and then I am deleting the group 4 and now I need another module to check some conditions so that I will be using condition module. So after we receive an answer from the AI, I will be checking some condition. For example, right now we have the variable named answer. This is where the answer will be saved and the question will be saved on the question variable. So here within the comparison module, I'll be using the question and uh, if it's contain, for example, support. If the question contains support, also I can add another comparison like and the answer contain support. So any of the value from the answer or the question contain the word support, it will continue from this edge. So we can connect it with group six and give the answer back to the user using the variable same as we did before and then also we can give another button message for example call back this will take effect when the user is asking for the support in any time within the conversation it will trigger and send an answer with the button message so that the user can click on the request call back and exit from the loop and we can continue building the flow from here we can also add another condition module within here then add another condition like for example question contains sign up for example if the user is interested to sign up if the question contains sign up or if the answer contains sign up or we can add more condition like or the question contain register or the answer contains register so this is an example of condition module there are actually a lot of comparison options like equal to not equal to this will be used for some other advanced purposes right now i'm not using it so from here i can send another quick replay with the same answer as answer variable and then send a button for example sign up from here we can actually even send a sign up message for example it will be a link to sign up for a request callback actually we can even ask more questions to the user for example uh, what is your email id and you can collect uh, the email id and build the flow from here and if the user is not selecting the request callback and they need to ask another question we can actually connect from the default block to the ask again and also from the default group of the group 8 also can be connected and even you can add another button like ask more question and again you can also add a button here as ask more question like this and uh, connect this edge with the group 2 which is collecting the question now this is more efficient that the user can take some action at any point now you probably got an idea how to further expand this chatbot with the all other features available here 
Now let's test this again and let's see the new functionalities. For example, I'm asking the AI for the support. How can I connect with the support? Let's see how the answer will be. Now let's see it's responded with the quick reply. So we can simply exit from the chatbot and request a callback. For example, I clicked on the request callback and it responded with the bots your email ID. So it worked as expected. Now, are you excited to build a similar chatbot for your client or for your business? Log on to Librami.com and sign up for an account. If you have any comments or questions, free feel to use the comment box. Thank you.